Welcome to Tribal Review. Coming up on this episode, we'll meet Marina Rios and find out what her outlook is for the upcoming spring sports season. Also on the broadcast is how students and teachers feel about working at the same school. Stage High School. I'm Sirlian Jones. Today is National Unplugged Day. Celebrate by turning the TV off and head outside. And I'm Josh Smith. Today is Friday, March 4th, 2016, and here are some of the interesting news stories for this week. FBI Director James Comey and Apple General Counsel Bruce Sewell testified on the 1st of March. The controversy of this matter is that Apple refuses to give the government access to an iPhone used by one of the San Bernardino shooters. Apple's lawyer was argued, has argued that if they create such a software, then it would undermine anti-hacking security for all iPhones. Experts have warned that killer Asian hornets are on their way to Britain. Asian hornets can kill up to 50 bees a day just to feed their larvae. The numbers of bees are decreasing in Britain, and wildlife experts are worried. Plant Life and Environmental Charity warn that these hornets are deadly, a deadly threat to honeybees and any other pollinators. Marina Rios plays soccer and runs track for the high school. She had recently parked university to run track. Brittany Rodriguez went out to ask how she was doing this season. The soccer team is looking good this year. I caught up with Marina Rios and other varsity players from the team to see how the season's going. I'm going to miss the team and the environment and the atmosphere of just playing for my school. It's just, yeah, it's going to be a little heartbreaking. Marina is going to miss playing soccer for her school. Mr. Fletcher says Marina coaches with love. Marina is just uh, one of those players who coaches love. She works so hard. She's a really good athlete, good student, practices hard. Um, I know she, she's a really good track star too. So we've, we've worked together to make sure she can run track and play soccer. Um, but it's been a pleasure to have Marina on the team for the past four years. So we're excited to finish off this senior year. Senior Aspen O'Neill has been playing soccer with Marina since she was little. She says that she's improved as a player. Well, I've been playing with her since I was really little. And she's improved as a player a lot. And she's became a leader. So I think it's fun playing with her. Marina is a leader figure in her teammates' eyes. Junior Kelsey Schauberg tells how she feels. Having her as a teammate on the high school team is really nice because she's always been really nice to me, like compared to other people, like when I was a freshman, like because everyone gets bullied when you're a freshman, like, <laughs> and so it's been really nice having somebody that's like on your side all the time, and I'm gonna miss her a lot when she's gone. This is Marina's last year playing for high school. Sophomore Mackenzie Lyon explains how hard it will be with the seniors leaving. Well, it'll definitely be difficult with all the seniors leaving, and me and Marina are close, so it'll be hard. Marina recently signed to play track at Park University. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm Brittany Rodriguez. Thanks, Brittany. When we come back, we'll find out how students feel about the grossing app color switch. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time. Choose from a variety of fresh, great tasting foods and custards to be prepared by their friendly staff. Let Culver's welcome you to deliciousness. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. Welcome back. People have been playing the new app Color Switch. Jace Wilcutt downloaded the app himself to find out why this game is so popular. <laughs> The game Color Switch has been sweeping the school by storm. I took the time to ask a few students why they liked the game. Because it's hard and addicting and there are colors. I don't know, I like it because if you get a certain amount of stars you can get like new things to go through circles with, I guess. Because uh, it's fun. <laughs> The game, created by Fortify Games, is extremely addicting in nature. I was curious to find out how often the students played. 
um, every morning after I get ready and I'm just waiting to leave for school. I played it while you were getting new batteries. I play it pretty often. <laughs> A lot. How many? While the game seems colorful and fun, something about the reflexes required makes it quite difficult. The students told me whether or not the game makes them angry. Extremely mad. It's really hard. Eh, I don't get very stressed about it. If, I'm, if I get upset, I just get off of it. Really mad when you don't beat the level. Color Switch gets four and a half stars out of five, with the only real drawback being the amount of advertisements. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm Jace Woolcutt. Thanks, Jace. We'll be back in a moment with your Kansas City Sports Report. Lunar Bowl is a great place to host your graduation party or class reunion. With 32 lanes of bowling, arcade, conference room, and custom catering for groups of 25 to 300. Call Tina Short at 816-220-7722 to book and plan your next event. Lunar Bowl, family-friendly fun, located on Highway 7 North in Blue Springs. Blake Pearson is here with us with this week's Kansas City Sports Report. Thanks, Josh. Sporting Kansas City will be kicking off their 26th season at the Seattle Sounders on Sunday, March 6th. FC Kansas City will be playing two games at the Children's Mercy Park and will also start their season there for the second consecutive year. The Missouri Comets wrap up the regular season 17-3 after a hard-fought battle at home. The Comets swept the Baltimore ba Blast 5-4. That's it for your Kansas City Sports Report. I'm Blake Pearson. We'll be back with more stories on Tribal Review after these messages. Toscanos is the best place to get an upscale Italian dining experience with a hometown feel. Start out with enjoying delicious warm bread while the cooks prepare your entree to be served to you fresh. Toscanos offers a vast menu of pizzas, pastas, salads, and more. They offer carryout and can cater to any event. Let Kirk and John give you a taste of Little Italy at Toscanos, located at 312 South Hudson Street in Buckner. Welcome back. There are four teachers whose children attend at the school building they work in. Jordan Kelly visited them to see what it's like for them to work in this type of situation. Like Zach Erickson is a student at Forest, Forest Sage High School. He tells us what his dislikes are by his mother working at his school. And it's bad because she, can just, she, she knows everybody so she, she can like get her, she has connections to everybody so she can uh, See if she, she, you have bad grades and stuff. Paula Erickson is a librarian at Forest Sage High School. She tells us her misgivings about working at her kids' school. Um, I dislike be that sometimes they come up and just expect me to be able to do things for them, uh, like lunch money or something like that. I also sometimes dislike that teachers assume that I can fix things right away, but. Taylor Wisely attends Fort Sage High School. She tells us some perks about her mother working here at Fort Sage. Some perks for having my mom work at school are when she comes to work, she can bring me things if I ever get them at home. <laughs> or if I need something, she knows people in the school district to get them for me. Angela Hopkins works at Fort Osage High School's cafeteria. She tells us some benefits working at her child's school. A couple of perks at working at my child's school is I get to see her every day and I get to stay on top of her business. I feel like it would be pretty bad if my parents were here. This is Jordan Kelly for Child Review. Thanks Jordan. We'll be back with your entertainment news in just a bit. There's always fun in store at Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and more in Independence. Visit the store, choose, create, and celebrate your customized design on a wide selection of apparel and gifts. Your order can be printed and ready within 24 hours. Let Big Frog outfit you today. Now here's your entertainment news from Shelby Stopart. Thanks, Cerulean. After 22 years, Leonardo DiCaprio has finally won an Oscar, and that's not the only surprising thing. DiCaprio gave his acceptance speech and mentioned climate change and called it the most urgent threat facing our entire species. DiCaprio also thanked everyone from the start of his career. After many attempts, Stephen King's The Dark Tower is getting a film version. Idris Elba has been confirmed to play the gunslinger and Matthew McConaughey as the man in black. That's, for, that's it for entertainment. I'm Shelby Stobart. Thanks, Shelby. 
The Royals won the World Series last year against the New York Mets. Reporter Silas Munoz asked students if they think the Royals could do it again. With their recent World Series win, the Royals head into the season with their heads held high. Royals fans believe the team can do it again, but others think it's impossible. I do believe that the Royals can make it back to the World Series. They have retained a lot of their base players. They still have Hosmer. They've re-signed Gordon. I do feel like it's very possible for them to go back to the World Series and possibly even win it. Mm, I don't think so. You can't strike lightning in a bottle twice. It's impossible. I think they'll make it to the playoffs, but I don't know if they're going to win. Like, two times in a row? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, the Royals will probably make it this year as long as their pitching can stay good and consistent. No, I don't think they're really going to make it this year. Uh, I think they can because they still have solid pitching and the bullpen is still really good. Yeah, I think we can. Uh, we have a lot of our star players coming back to the team. I'll make a big difference. I don't, I don't know yet. I mean, they lost a lot of their good players. Uh, no, because they lost all their good players and they lost the best player, Ben Zorbrist. The baseball season starts up on April 3rd. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm Silas Munoz. Thanks, Silas. That's it for this week on Tribal Review. I'm Cerulean Jones. And I'm Josh Smith. We'll see you next time.